Hi, we're here at the uh, Pathfinder 2013 gathering today, and I'm gonna make a few videos on solar cooking with the solar flare oven. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna go through the process of setting it up. To uh, make it easier for this to work, I built a stand, and I'm gonna go through what I did to make that. Well, if you can see back here, we have I've drawn. pounded a small fence post in the ground and I constructed a stand pipe of inch and a quarter PVC that has been reduced down to a one inch PVC for the base to sit on. So we're going to take this, set it down on the pole. I want to show you the platform for the oven on the back side here. We've got a flagpole holder that you screw to the side of your uh, house, and it's adjustable. We can take this loose and get the right angle by moving this around. We want to catch the sun just right to make this work good. Now I just took a piece of plywood. On the corners, I've got some pieces of metal because I'm going to hold the oven down so it doesn't move with, with magnets in the corners. So we're going to take this. Set this on the pole and tighten it down so it won't move. And this gives us our base. I'm going to come back here and make sure I'm getting a good picture of it. Okay, I'm going to go back in and get the oven, bring it out, unpack it, show you what's in it, and then I'll set it up. <laughs> this is our sunflower oven. This is how it comes. And this is how you carry it. It comes in this uh, bag that holds everything that you need to make this work. We'll take this out and unpack it. Got two little items in this pouch here. This is the thermometer to tell what the uh, temperature is inside the oven when it's working. And we've also got the little water pasteurization tool, which we'll get to later. Put them back in right now. First thing we got to do is take out the stands and the cookware that go inside the oven. We've got them cinched up with scraps. We'll take them loose. This is a rack that you put inside the oven to put uh, the pots and or whatever you're going to use to cook. And we'll get them set up after we get it put together. It also comes with two uh, little pots that are made out of silicon. And that's what you use to cook in. Got another, got two full racks, and then you've also got some baking pans here that we'll use to support whatever we got to use to uh, make stuff. And that's all this, what, the in, internal stuff that comes with it. Let me set this off here to the side. Now we're going to pull the oven out of its package. This is 
is what it looks like folded up. And it's very easy to deploy. You just unfold it. And start from the side where the zipper starts and just start zipping along until you've got it all zipped up. Zipping it up actually makes the oven form to its dimensions. So, when you get done, you have a solar oven. What I'm going to do now is put my uh, magnets in, that'll hold it and keep her from, from this, something from blowing it off. I got a four pack of 65 pound pole magnets at Harbor Freight for like three bucks. That's why I put the, the metal in the corners. So I can set these in there and that'll hold it down. If you do use these, you gotta kinda keep them apart from each other so they'll. And if they stick together, they're real hard to get apart. Right now we're going to put one rack and a flat pan on. We're going to put it inside there. We're going to set our uh, thermometer on there and we'll see how long it takes for it to get up to temp. Okay, here's the thermometer. We're gonna stick it on the pan and we're gonna zip it back up. And that is, that's all it, do, it takes to set this solar oven up. And we have used this before. We use it to warm food up in. We've also baked bread in it. And the day that we did that, it was 56 degrees and it did the job perfectly. The maximum temperature that we got of it that day was about 215, 220 and the high for that day was 6, 56 degrees. So it's a lot warmer today here at the Pathfinder Gathering and we're gonna try to, uh, if the cloud cover cooperates with us, we're gonna try to make, make lunch here in about an hour. We gotta get it deployed and get it warmed up first before we put our food in it. So I'm gonna pause the video for right now until we get uh, some temperature built up and then we'll come back on.